Hey everyone. Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different with um, ChatGPT. And I was continuing on my uh, theme that I had last week where I was going out and uh, planning out uh, sugar cookies and trying to get some information out of the chat based off it. But I thought I'd try something a little bit different and see, see if I can go and uh, create data using ChatGPT. So because I'm trying to think that how one of the ways we could use the co-pilots in the supply chain possibly could be to uh, start creating build materials for us and routes and all of those things. So I found this um, sugar cookie recipe and uh, I'm going to try to use this as the base. And as we scroll down, we've got some additional information, but in the end, we've got the ingredients and then the instructions that are associated with, with this uh, sugar cookie recipe. So let's go over to uh, the chat playground here within Azure Studio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, a little bit of um, uh, prompting here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tell, tell ChatGPT that it's a Dynamics 365 co-pilot, so it helps with creation of supply chain management information. Then also I'm going to say that you are designed to create data files so we can import into Dynamics. Also what I've got is I've um, told it that you can find the official schemas for Dynamics here on the help uh, tab or the um, help area within Dynamics. Then finally, I've just put an additional note here to say that unless otherwise um, mentioned, so for example, uh, unless I tell it to create a JSON file, then I just want it to return all the information as a table. So, so I've saved that and let's, let's just close down the assistant so that we're here within the view. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell it that this is the uh, URL that I've got that for creating the sugar cookie. Now, it's, uh, it's pretty happy with that. And then, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, create a bill of materials for me that I can use within Dynamics. So it's going out and it's telling me that uh, I need flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and so forth. Now, uh, I want to change this and make it a little bit different. So I'm going to convert this recipe into a gluten and grain-free recipe. So this is going out and now it's telling me that I need to, it's converting the recipe, it's got all the steps in there and it's saying I need, um, I can use almond flour and then also, uh, does it have anything else? It has um, some different sugar, so it's actually changed the sugar in there. And I could say, show me the bill of materials for this new recipe. So now again, we've got our, our products here and we've got a number of cups of almond flour and all the other items that we've got. Now let's, let's go out and do something a little bit um, more detailed. Let's create a route for this recipe. And so the route has got a couple of different things and it's got, in this case, it's got around about 11 steps. Now, what I can do is I can tell it uh, show me the relationships between these steps as they move through. So we're going to see that uh, the relationships should uh, should be calculated. And let me show this as a table because that shows the dependencies a little bit better. So we can see that the gathering of the ingredients is uh, has a dependent step, which is preheat the oven. Now, the preheating of the oven is only required when I go and bake it. So I'm going to say uh, I'll say baking the only step pendant 
on the preheating. So now this is going to change the route just a little bit. And then we can see that we've got the preheating of the oven has no dependent steps. But as we go down here into the baking, then uh, the, there is a dependency here. So let's show the route with dependency and also time. So now we've got some, some route steps here. And then finally, I'm going to change this and, and then say show this as a table. Now, one final thing that I'll do here, we haven't got any, um, any information that's associated with this based off the station. So let's do show the resource required as well in the table. So I'm just building up this, um, this little example here. And then we can see that where the preheating of the oven uh, requires the, the oven baking sheets and so forth. And then we've got mixing bowls and other items. So I've now gone out and created the route. So let's show me the route as JSON in the schema of supply chain management. Now what that's going to do is that's going to go out and create my, uh, my route for me and then uh, create it with, uh, with all the JSON files as well. So this is, this is an example here. Just prompt this again. And chat GPT is now, now going to create some notes. We've got also the, the, OData types we've got here, we've got the standard information that's associated with it, including resources. And then also we've got the uh, different steps that are being created. So while this is creating, I thought, thought this was a really cool example because what we can do is we can start off with, with a, a sample piece of information or a sample website and then have ChatGPT go out and reformat that for us and then uh, return back data in the format of, for example, routes or bill of materials that then possibly we could go and automate uh, and import into the system. So that was just the example that I wanted to show and I thought it was pretty cool. So if, uh, if you like it, then make sure you uh, click the like button. And if, if you want to help me out, then maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel, channel as well. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll send out some more information later on.